So he has given the consent for this particular case to be both in terms of narcoanalysis or in terms of uh, the same polygraph. Uh, he has given consent. So this consent, uh, they will utilize that and they will extract uh, evidence from this particular polygraph or uh, the narcoanalysis. Uh, they will go ahead and submit in the court of law. However, it's the prerogative of the court of law to uh, have this as a corroborative evidence or not. The Delhi police has now approached a court to conduct a polygraph test on Aftaf Punawala. The development comes days after a Delhi court agreed to a narco test on Aftaf. Aftaf has been accused of killing his live-in partner Shraddha Walker. Delhi police wants to conduct the polygraph test to help investigators find the missing weapon and other evidences in the murder case. A top criminology and crime sciences professor tells us what is a polygraph test and if it will help Delhi police in the Shraddha Walker murder case. A polygraph test is a test which is conducted on a person to understand his responses with relation to blood pressure, galvanic skin response, pulse rate and uh, blood pressure. Um, this is normally being uh, done using certain uh, instruments on his body, even uh, kind of an encephalograph which is normally being on the chest and uh, also the abdomen and instrument is there and a specifically designed chair is used to understand the behavior of the persons, persons. but uh, many times people think this is for light detection but it is not the fact uh, normally polygraph doesn't mean that it is a light detector because it is only uh, working on a conditional questions which an uh, expert will ask and then based on the answers will be done and uh, the responses will be noted um, predominantly they are using it as a lie detector for reason that this will show whether the person is showing a different response compared to the normal response which he or she is uh, doing. In earlier days even in China they believe that people will uh, have less salivary response when they tell lies. So they give dry rice powder and put it in the mouth. So if there is no saliva then they understand that the person has lied. So this is also a typical uh, kind of an instrument which tests all the um, activities or the physiological and the psychological responses during an anxiety but not necessarily this mean uh, they, they are telling lies. Polygraph tests work on the basis of their pulse rate, their blood pressure, their glandular uh, skin response and the behavioral changes that do happen uh, during this test. So there are two things available here, one uh, the examiner that means the person who examines or the polygraph expert, one a human being and the other one is the machine response. So while asking the questions also sometimes the examiner puts certain question which may be or may not be connected uh, to the particular response or the incident. So uh, he need to be more expert in that particular way of questioning things so that way the accused may give certain answers which is based on the uh, physiological uh, differences previously and after the answer is being died. Uh, most of the questions are only yes and uh, no answer type, not a very detailed questioning will be done, uh, only uh, objective kind of uh, questions are being done. However, what happens is that these questions are called controlled questions. So most of the questions are controlled uh, in question um, in nature. And this test is called deception detection test, they call it DTT. This test are not at all accurate for two reasons. One, uh, this is not a light detection as I told earlier. And also the bodily or the anxiety response may not necessarily be connected with the lies alone. It can be for various reasons because polygraph is measuring various responses like anxiety response, even uh, hypoglycemia and everything they are understanding and analyzing and not necessarily this may be connected only with the lie and the American Psychological Association has told very clearly that these tests are inaccurate in nature and also they have conducted several studies on the polygraph test itself and uh, they have found that several of the cases which has produced such tests has become inaccurate in nature and the outcome is not the exact that what they can want. So also in some cases, some people are good in lying and uh, for them if uh, 
a polygraph is administered it is very difficult to bring response out of those persons so uh, that way uh, i believe that uh, these tests are not that accurate that one can use it as an evidence in the court of law and uh, already uh, the court of law is also not accepting this as an evidence already in this current case of the punawala case narco analysis is admissible because he has consented same is the case with uh, polygraph also he has consented so as per the supreme court guidelines and as per a karnataka court uh, guidelines which says that uh, consent is a must so he has given the consent for this particular case to be both in terms of narco analysis or in terms of uh, the same polygraph uh, he has given consent so this consent uh, they will utilize that and they will extract uh, evidence from this particular polygraph or uh, the narco analysis uh, they will go ahead and submit in the court of law however it's the prerogative of the court of law to uh, have this as a corroborative evidence or not so uh, they will take the issue of consent uh, at the same time they will see that how well uh, this uh, uh, particular statement has a corroborative value in 2010 in selvi versus state of karnataka the supreme court has categorically removed this particular test polygraph test or similar test like uh, brain mapping or narco analysis from the criminal justice processes and it cannot be used as a confession tool or confession um, making machine a polygraph uh, cannot be used because it is against right to uh, self uh, incrimination as per article 21 and right to privacy too so uh, police can use this particular polygraph test only as an aid of investigation and cannot be used to get confession or a conclusive proof however as per section 45 of the indian evidence act an expert opinion is admissible and in case this polygraph examiner is an expert that opinion can be taken by the court or uh, the court can consider but it cannot be used as a Uh, ultimate evidence that we call is as a primary evidence it can be having a very very little corroborative value